Hey, good morning. It's day five. I uh, got a late start. I was lazy, lazy, lazy and inefficient getting out of my sleep system and tent and having breakfast. But I'm on my way to the access road, or it's a road, going to Trout Lake. And uh, it's only two miles from where I was camping. So uh, pretty easy peasy to get there. And it's a cold morning. The trail is smooth and easy. And uh, my back's hurting a little bit, but, but I'm feeling pretty good. I'm excited about laundry and, uh, and some rest and recharging and uploading some videos. Hopefully they will work. But uh, good morning. Good start to day five. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, this is the end of day five. Here's my tent pitched in the yard of Trail Angel Monica's house. This is her house, uh, attractive house, kind of a rural setting. There's another hiker who's going to be just uh, sleeping under the cowboy camping here. In any case, I, I've been able to get a shower, uh, do laundry, and working on posting some videos. So it's uh, I only got like two miles, two miles in or so today and uh, was able to get a ride down from the trailhead, 14 miles, down to Trout Lake, got a little bit of food, hung out at the general store, and tomorrow morning um, I will, um, Erica, oh, Monica, I, um, excuse me, is going to bring me to a coffee shop in the morning. I'm going to get some good coffee and Maybe some food, and then she's going to drop me off in the shuttle, which I'll be taking to back to the trail and back at it. Um, yeah, so pretty easy day. Nothing, nothing going on. I'd really wish I was in a bed, but unless I was willing to stay in a hotel, which is like $200 a night, and nowhere near here was I going to get that. So this is, this is how it ended. Uh, not bad. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Have a good night. Good morning. It's uh, about quarter of nine, day six. I'm outside of Trail Lake, 14 miles out. I've been dropped off and all the other hikers um, are in the woods, either going north or south, but I was eating my breakfast here. It's cold here. I'm kind of shaking a little bit, but I'll get warm once I start hiking. Yeah, so that's that's north and uh, I hope hopefully I'll do high teens, maybe 20 today and there's like three or four hikers ahead of me so maybe I'll catch up with them or be in their vicinity which is nice. Had a restful day in um, Trout Lake and it was pretty much a Nero, uh, near zero day. Got some good food, got resupply, got a little bit rested, got a shower, did laundry which is awesome. Stayed at Trail Angel Monica's house, recommended. And so now back to the trail. My my hip is still still feeling it, you know, normal walking, okay, bending, putting on my pack. Um it's not not as great, but yeah, it's uh it's manageable though, so I'm I'm hiking on. Talk to you soon. Well, it's mid-morning. Yeah, it's mid-morning. I came out of the woods where I was cold, even with a uh, wind windbreaker in the in the burned-out area, and now I'm hot. And uh, just chatted with a hiker, and I'll just give you a quick view of this. So I stripped down, and we'll be proceeding. 
but my recollection is it's like this for miles. And uh, but you will get through it. Talk to you soon. It's always neat amidst devastation where you find a small grove of trees that that survived the fire. Not all completely intact, but still alive. And then just just beyond, in all directions, in particular this direction, there's nothing but complete wipeout. It's, it's promising and positive to see the the regrowth along the ground, especially the flowers and the huckleberries. They're like blueberries from back east, but they're huckleberries, and they taste taste good. It's very similar to blueberries, in my opinion. Bears love them, so when they're blooming, when they're ripening up, there's a reasonable chance you're going to see a bear on the trail. Great. Mount Pierce beckons. Look how magnificent that is. Look at the ice still up there. Pretty precarious to climb that, and I am not climbing that. <clears throat> Whoops. Hey there, gone about six miles. It's a little after 11. I'm going at a pretty fast pace. Um, trail is easy, although I, I'm like pig pen on the Charlie Brown series. Is the trail is so soft and dusty. I'm in a cloud of dust, and you don't want to hike near anyone because you'll be eating their dust too. But yeah, yeah it's just in a gathering of living things, but just, uh, the camera probably can't quite show it, just over the corner, everything's dead. But it's nice and cool. Oh, it's awesome in here. Good place to take a rest. Press on after my rest. <laughs> well, best guess, guess this is Mount St. Helens on the left side of that living standing tree. And then as you pan to the right, past the dead forest into the lush forest, I believe that's Mount Rainier. Fantastic. Well, I have learned 
the name of this is Indian Paintbrush. It has this incredibly rich red color. I don't know if you can come through in the camera, but it's amazing. And then in some places, it has like an orange tint. And I don't know whether it's because of greater exposure to the sun or the flowers are older, but wow, just the color on it is amazing. Yeah. There's very little clouds in the sky. It's amazing. It's just such a rich blue color. And there's only occasional clouds on my left side, which I think is west. Just big puffy clouds. And you can see a little further back. I don't know, I think it might be some smog or fires burning or something. I know there are a few out here. I gotta start paying a little bit more attention to that, but yeah, it's just this, realize, I'm just walking and you have these burnt out trees, gray and silver and black against this blue sky. Amazing. Well, I've left the burn area, which was a riot of the senses, but it was tiring being in the bright sun. And the columbine, which existed in the burn area, wasn't flowering. And here it is flowering, and then you look down at the meadow, and you see it's in flowering intensely. Very nice. Mount Adams has spewed so many rocks down here from a volcanic event. It must have been tens of thousands of years ago. But what's so stunning to me is not just how big it is and all these rocks, but that I can be... You can be walking amidst these rocks, a lava field, and I go around a corner, it's just a rich forest. I go around another corner, it's kind of like a mixed setting where you have rocks and a narrow area in between where you've got lots of plant growth. And then you go into a meadow just covered with with flowers. All You could do five, six, or more of those rotations all in the course of about a half a mile. Every time I go around the corner, it looks completely different. It's just amazing. Oh great, here's where I'm going next. This is gonna require some consideration how to get across here in one piece. Uh, let me see some logs there, maybe, maybe that's where I go across. Hey there, I'm at mile 22, 49.7, um, and um, I have hiked 18.1 miles today, uh, coming out of Trout Lake. You can see my tent behind me. It's a junction of two different trails. It's a, not, I'm just pretty much right on trail, but that's, what, that's all you got. <clears throat> and uh, had an amazing day, you know, hiked a mile or two in the deep old growth forest and then got into a 10 mile burn area that had enormous amounts of flowers and just uh, amazing views of Mount Adams. <clears throat> Did that. It was actually getting tiring. The sky was so bright, even though temps were perfect. And then went for another five or six miles, a series of lava fields to pretty meadows to small forests to lava fields and what just went around in circles. And, uh, and and had one cro uh, water crossing, which was fun, and uh, 
So I'm here. Um, I'm so dirty. Going through those lava fields, you might as well just roll yourself in dirt. So I'm about to begin the laborious process of washing my body on, on, in the cold air. Right now it's got to be in the 50s. It's freezing out here. So I'm going to wash myself off and then jump in my quilt and go to sleep and start the whole thing tomorrow. I think I have uh, probably like 45 miles left to White Pass. And I wish there were more people around. There's no one at this tent site. Everyone I left with, <clears throat> or most of them have stopped around mile 15. There are a few speed demons who just rushed ahead, and I haven't seen them at all. But it's always fun to camp with people. But not me. No one wants to camp with me. Oh, well. Uh, good night. <laughs> See you later.